Uh, hey guys, Stupendous here, and uh, today I'm going to be making a video ranking all of the Star Wars films, the uh, 11 theatrically released ones that I have seen. Um, I have not seen the Ewok movies, the uh, Christmas special, or the Clone Wars movie, so uh, if those are your favorites or whatever, you can click off, but uh, I'm pretty sure those are all would be at the bottom of the list anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, let's just get right into it. So, uh, coming in at the very bottom, at number 11, we have The Phantom Menace. Now, I don't really like the prequels. Uh, I know some people who do now, and I really don't understand how this has become a hot take to, like, not like the prequels or whatever. Because, like, the Disney movies are bad, I guess. I really don't know. Um, yeah, I, I hate the prequels. They suck. But, uh, to each their own, I suppose. Uh, and The Phantom Menace, in my opinion, is the worst out of them. Because it is just not at all entertaining. Uh, it's very boring. No one has any character traits at all. And you really don't understand the plot until you watch it, like, nine times. Um, and yeah, the plot is very, like, boring. It has a lot to do with politics and, like, trade. Which really shouldn't be in Star Wars. And, um, yeah, Liam Neeson is in this movie for some reason. Uh, and this was, like, right after Schindler's List, so I guess he just wanted to get a good cash grab. But, uh, yeah, Ewan McGregor isn't doing anything. Liam Neeson isn't doing anything. And Jar Jar Banks really isn't that bad, because at least he brings life to the movie. But, uh... Yeah, and young Anakin is probably terrible, is very terrible. So is Natalie Portman, but she's not even that bad in this. Uh, okay, next we have Attack of the Clones. This is my favorite of the prequels, but I understand that it's not technically better than the than Revenge of the Sith. Uh, Attack of the Clones is alright. No, it's not alright, it sucks. But, um, uh... The plot is all over the place, and it literally just makes no sense. Um, if Obi-Wan, Ewan McGregor could have just, like, under, like, figured out that Count Dooku and the clones and Palpatine and all that are, like, connected, and, like, Jango Fett and all that, he could have just stopped the whole Clone Wars and all this, but I guess he just forgot, like, uh, um, uh, if you... I'm probably not going to do a very good job analyzing these movies, so um, you can watch the Cosmonaut Variety Hour or uh, Red Letter Media. Their videos on the prequels are pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't like Attack of the Clones, but at least it has some, like, fun action, I suppose. Uh, really not very good effects, though, and, like, all the clone troopers are very obviously CGI. And the overuse of green screen it really is apparent in this movie, along with Revenge of the Sith. And, uh, yeah, yeah it's just not very good. Um, next up, we have The Rise of Skywalker. This is what a lot of people say is the worst movie now, which um, I don't like it personally, but I don't think it's worse than those other two films that I just mentioned. Um, the Rise of Skywalker really is it it's just all over the place and it really just goes to show that they did not plan out the sequel trilogy at all um they swapped between two directors and so it started off with jj abrams then they switched to ryan johnson and then jj abrams took it again and they just kept flipping flopping trying to like cancel the, each other out and it really just goes to show, and this film is just a mess, really. Um, uh, they really just throw away a lot of the characters that were in Rise of Sk or The Last Jedi because J.J. Abrams didn't want to do that, I guess. Um, yeah, it really is not a good way to end off the trilogy. Palpatine comes back off screen, and that really just doesn't... Why? Like, I don't understand. Um... It reminds me of Revenge of the Sith when Rey is just, like, super angry for no reason. When she had zero prior, like, foreshadowing of her being, like, evil or whatever. But, oh, you, of course, you know that she's not gonna, like, turn to the dark side or whatever. 
but I just don't like this movie, but I wouldn't say it's the worst. Um, next we have Revenge of the Sith. Uh, I, this is my least favorite out of all of them, but I understand that it isn't like worse than the three I just mentioned. And I really just hate everything that this represents. Like, if you make a poll right now, and you ask people what the best Star Wars movie is, they'll say this. I honestly don't know why. And, like, uh, some people will say they like it because it's campy or whatever. I, I can understand that. But some people think it's actually, like, some gritty, like, serious, dark movie. Which it's not. Um, if you've seen the movie, and you actually, like, pay attention, it just sucks. There really is, like... The acting is terrible. That goes for all the prequels. Um, the dialogue is very cringe. George Lucas cannot write dialogue. Uh, he honestly should have just got another person to write this movie. It probably would have been a lot better, but... Um, uh, yeah, really, the whole idea with the prequels is just like, the action is good, and that's kind of it. If you sit and think about the story, it sucks. Uh, Anakin's fall to the dark side or whatever is really un inconvincing, and it really makes zero sense that he would do that. And General Grievous, along with Count Dooku, are just throwaway villains to like have cool fights with. And yeah, I literally felt zero emotion when Anakin fell into the lava and whatever. You, Ewan McGregor actually does kind of a good job in these movies. Uh, Hayden Christensen does not, and Natalie Portman does not, and I think that's mainly on George Lucas, because he, he's not a good director, in my opinion. Um, alright, enough of that. Next, we have The Last Jedi. Now, uh, The Last Jedi is, um, this is, like, right middle-of-the-road movie, in my opinion. Uh, when this came out, everyone thought this sucked until, uh, Rise of Skywalker came out, and everyone forgot about Last Jedi. Uh, it's a very polarizing film, and, um, really, it, it's really hit or miss for a lot of people, and when I saw it, I personally didn't like it, and when I rewatched it, it was okay. Um, it's kind of, really just Disney doesn't understand Star Wars, in my opinion, and, um, yeah, like, Luke dies for no reason, uh... Uh, Adam Driver is actually pretty good as Kylo Ren in this movie. Uh, better in than he was in Force Awakens, in my opinion. Uh, Rey is kind of not doing a whole lot in this movie. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, a lot of people didn't like the way Luke went, but I, I think it's actually alright. And um, Leia... Crap, what's her name? I'm dumb. Yeah, uh, Leia was alright, but, uh, I thought it was kind of dumb the way she was kind of, like, floating in the air, but, yeah. And, um, Rose, or whatever, is kind of a throwaway character, and, uh, Finn and Poe really should have had, like, more chemistry or whatever in this movie. They should have been more, like, I, I really just don't know. Uh, kind of wasted potential in my opinion. It could have been good, but it, it, it's not. Uh, next we have Rogue One, which in my opinion is the very middle of the road movie. Uh, Felicity Jones is in this, Forrest Whitaker's in this. Like, a lot of good actors are in this, but they really just have no, uh, like, character traits at all. Um, the blind guy, who's like, one with the force but he's not like a jedi or whatever that that was actually cool uh the robot is really cringe uh no i think i'm thinking of solo I, i'm just uh this in my opinion is the uh worst of the two spin-off movies but it's not bad it fills this purpose of like being a pre like a really close prequel to um La N a new hope and, uh, yeah, I personally enjoy it, but, uh, it, it is really, uh, well shot, but the issue is the, um, the director is also the cinematographer, I'm pretty sure, and he's not a very good director, he's a better cinematographer, but, so yeah, the movie looks really good, but, 
Uh, as far as the like dialogue and just screenplay goes, it, it's not. It's kind of middle of the road. Uh, next we have The Force Awakens. Um, when this came out, everyone was like, it was a pretty inoffensive movie. It was actually pretty good. But then, I really don't know what caused people to start hating on this movie. Um, I personally like it. Uh, everyone says it's bad because it's a copy of A New Hope. Which, um, it has pretty similar uh, story structure. But, like, the characters are pretty different. Um, Rey is, like, a completely new character. And she's actually pretty good in this movie. They kind of threw away her character in this. That's the same with Finn and Poe, and really just all the new characters. They kind of just messed up in the later uh, sequels. But uh, yeah, in this movie, it's a pretty good introduction to all these characters. Uh, Han is pretty good. Um, uh, Kylo is alright. Adam Driver is probably the best thing about these movies. He's a really good actor. Uh, and uh, if you haven't seen Marriage Story, you should watch that. Um... But yeah, uh, I personally like this movie, but um, I guess I can understand if you don't uh, want to watch like a copy of A New Hope, you can just watch A New Hope, I guess. Uh, next we have Solo. In my opinion, this is the best of the Disney movies because uh, it really just has really good action and it's pretty fun to watch. Um... I'm completely blanking on who plays Han Solo in this movie, but uh, he's pretty good. Uh, Amelia Clark is in this, which is kind of weird, I guess, but she's actually pretty good. Um, Woody Harrelson is also really good in this, and uh, yeah, really all the actors are really doing a pretty good job, and uh, it's really a part of Star Wars. You don't really see like the underworld sort of side to it, not like the big plot that's going on like against the Empire or whatever. And, like, the Empire is a part of it, but it's not, like, the main part, which you don't really see a lot in Star Wars, which I, I enjoy. Um, yeah, a really good introduction to Han Solo. Oh, also, Donald Glover is really good in this movie as a uh, Lando. Uh, yeah, Donald Glover is really good. And um, the robot is cringe. That's probably the worst thing about this movie. But, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Next, we have a uh, Return of the Jedi. I kind of contemplated putting Solo above Return of the Jedi because um, Return of the Jedi is the most dated out of the original trilogy, in my opinion. Uh, this is really when I feel like George Lucas realized he could get a lot of money off of this franchise, and he just started like getting kind of lazy with it. And um, yeah, I, it, it is a good ending to it, and uh, Luke is really good in this movie. He's probably the best part about it. Uh, Han Solo, they completely threw away. He's very boring. He really just, like, lost all his personality. Um, Boba Fett dies in a really dumb way, which I guess is kind of funny because it's, like, a lot of people's favorite characters, and he really just is barely in these movies. Um, what else? Uh... The Ewoks are dumb, but it really just has bad pacing and not very good dialogue, like, writing. And, uh, yeah, some of the decisions that, like, the Empire and the Emperor makes really just don't make any sense. But, uh, Vader and Luke have a really good, uh, like, I don't know what you call it, relationship, I guess. Uh, yeah, they play off each other pretty well. And, uh, yeah, I personally uh like this movie but in my opinion it's the worst out of the uh original trilogy uh next we have a new hope which is my favorite uh star wars movie but i understand that uh empire is better really um a new hope really just uh, the quintessential sci-fi like action movie and it really doesn't even need to be a sci-fi movie it really just is like a timeless story that can really fit to any setting um, Luke is pretty good in this movie. Well, really, everyone is really good in this movie. And the reason why I think this is good is because George Lucas, um, was just, like, being creative with the movie, and he was just, like, doing what he wanted to do because, uh, he didn't really have anything to lose, really. 
and there was he didn't have to be really like lazy with it to just like get uh money i suppose he was yeah um this movie's really good i really like just all the characters um the plot is really just timeless and uh i can't really think of anything bad in this movie but um yeah uh, finally, coming in at the number one spot, we have Empire Strikes Back. Now, this isn't my favorite, but it is really tied. Uh, it's really close to being my favorite Star Wars movie. Um, yeah, this is really just like a New Hope, but like better. It's like if a New Hope was a ten, Empire would be an eleven. Uh, it really just play. Yeah, it really just plays off of it really well. Uh, it gets better world building and um, really there isn't much to say that hasn't already been said uh, the ending is really w good um, the reveal like with Vader uh, telling Luke that he's his father uh, that didn't really do a lot for me because you know like I, I don't know but um, at the time that was really good I suppose but, uh, yeah, everyone's doing a really good job. Boba Fett is an actual good, like, villain, I guess, in this movie. Uh, yeah, like, the final, like, act on Cod City is just really good. Um, Han is still good in this movie. Leia is, Luke is, uh, even, like, C-3PO and stuff are pretty funny. Um, yeah, there really is n not a lot of flaws in this movie. And, yeah, I just really love it. So, uh, that is it. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, like the video. And, uh, yeah, see ya.